The use case 27. Do not allow a user to modify the lead record if the lead is created before 8 days from today. So if the created lead that you have in your system and you want to modify it and it's already been 8 days since you created it, the system will not let you modify it. That's the use case. So we don't want the user to do something which means we want to add error. And when we want to add error from triggers, what context do we use? We use the before context. And this would be on update. So before update context on the lead trigger. So I have the lead trigger and the lead trigger handler here. And what do we want is the before update. So we already have that event and I think we are already handling it here. Right? I'll get rid of this code. This was from a previous use case. Let's get rid of this here and let's add our method. So I'll say lead trigger handler dot check creation date before update. Okay. What do I send? I send the trigger dot new variable for now. I'll create this method. Save. Okay. So the method is created. Let's save our trigger they should also save a find yeah now what we want to do is we want to understand whether if I were to write it in English I want to check if the lead creation date I want to check if lead creation date is greater than today's date minus 8 right it should not be greater than it should be less than which means it has been created before 8 days from current date right if this is the case throw the error right so let's put this check so I'll say for lead lead rec in new records if lead rec dot created date right so how do we den denote today's date we simply say system dot today so I have this particular method here right and I'll say system dot today minus 8 so if the created date is less than 8 days from today in the past in that case I simply want to say lead rec dot add error and I'll say this record cannot be modified simple let's say save okay it's saying there's some issue here this is not new record this should be lead record so I'll just copy paste the right variable and say save okay I'll get rid of this particular comment and say save again and this should be neat right let's go back and now let's test it this was very simple very straightforward let's say leads and let's check the created date right so if I were to find some lead records so I'll say select created date comma name from lead so these are all the leads in my system and they have been created on 11.4 right so which is old old enough right so what if I go ahead and just open any random lead let's say Katie, Katie Snyder and I go to details and I try to modify it let's say I want to change the phone number to 4 and say save so you see it says that this record cannot be modified now to test it the other way around let's say discard changes I'll create a new lead today right I'll create it now new lead right this is from Salesforce makes sense and I'll try to save it this should create first of all this should create fine yeah and now if I want to edit it will it allow me addition it should because it is not matching the criteria so you see I made a change and it has successfully saved because the created date does not fall under this particular criteria that we defined here right it is basically system dot today so this particular criteria is failing so it's not even going inside and throwing the error right so that was very simple and that was our use case 27